Hi there! This is the first video of the video series in which we will explain Retable's basic, advanced and premium column types, which will make our data operation processes more effective. When creating your Retable project, you can start organizing your data by creating your columns and changing their types as you need. Retable's various column types helps you store and manage your data in a more consistent and manageable way. By double-clicking on the column name or by right-clicking and selecting Customize Column, you can customize your columns, change the titles and select the column type to your usage. Now let's create a Retable spreadsheet and discover Retable's basic column features together. After logging into your Retable account, you will see your dashboard. There are already some templates that Retable has created for you. You can either select and edit them or you can start from scratch. Let's say you want to create a project in which you can keep your employee information all in one place. Let's select Start from scratch and create a new blank project. After typing the title and description, you can choose the color and icon you want to represent this project. You can see that the project is empty and ready to be created. When you double-click the column name, you can customize the first column and write the names of your employees. After typing the names, you can add another column by clicking the Add New Column icon and select the Number column type, which you can add numerical values. Retable also allows you to enter negative numbers, which helps you to see all your data in one place with their exact values. After that, you can add another column for use as a checkbox. Retable allows the users to manage each column and for this example, we can choose to make this field mandatory by selecting the Require an entry in this field option. Now you can check the boxes of each of your employees whether they are coming to work on time or not. By adding an image column, you can store your employees' images and keep them in the cell you want them to be in by clicking to upload or dragging your image. Retable gives the option of uploading multiple images at once and in the same row where you can match your images with the following people. You can add attachments such as documents you want to use in this particular cell. Same as adding images, you can upload your document or drag your document and save. By clicking on the document after uploading, Retable shows you what's inside and keeps the document in your table. Now let's look at the calendar column which helps Retable users to add starting and ending dates, due dates or any data type to use accordingly. You can choose or change the format of the date and include the time. Then, you can type the date you want or simply choose it from the calendar by double-clicking the cell. Retable helps the users to categorize each row by selecting a color. This allows for the organization of the data by color coding. You can add email addresses for keeping personal information that is related to this row. When you click on the email address, Retable automatically opens your email provider app and allows you to send your mail immediately. The same feature can be seen in the phone number column. After typing your employees' phone numbers, clicking on them will allow you to make a phone call. Retable allows you to pick any country phone code, which saves you time searching which code was for which country. You can add a progress bar to see the progress made in a percentage view. When you type the percentage value of the progress that's been made, this column will show the value. Now let's add a currency column to help us keep track of the salaries of each employee. You can add any currency by simply typing the currency symbol and choosing the placement of it. By selecting the Show Star instead of Real Data when Publicly Shared button, Retable allows you to keep your data just for yourself. 
For example, if you want to share this table with a colleague, but you don't want them to see your employees' salaries, you can simply choose this option and the numbers will appear as a start to keep your privacy. One of the best organization tools of retable columns is Select Options. This is a great way to organize data that includes multiple options, such as finding and grouping recurring values and keeping track of the situations that require status and process monitoring. This allows you to color code your options and helps you to find them easily by looking at the filters. You can type your values and select colors for each of them. There is an option to choose the default value, which allows you to determine and use it automatically in every row. When you want to change the value, you can simply change it in the relevant cells option. After you're done with the options, you can select the related option by clicking at the arrow on the right and choosing the option you want. Last but not least, you can add a rating column in which you have the option to choose how many rating stars you want there to be and click on the star you want to show. Don't forget that by simply carrying the column you want to left or right, you can change the arrangement of the columns and by double-clicking on the header of each column, you can edit and change the data you have written before. These are the basic column types you can use in your table to organize your data easily. In the next video, we're going to look at the advanced column types that Retable offers. If you have further questions, feel free to contact us in the following platforms and don't forget to follow. Thanks for watching.